so today we're playing some more Silent Hill 3. Haha. <laughs> remember that? I remember. I need to uh, set it up here, and then we can, we can start, so. So this thing is going to be very, uh, buggy for a minute, because my PlayStation is fired. We're going to run into that one issue we have. We have, you know, the one. Let me, uh, open up the, uh, game capture. <clears throat> Launched, but will it like launch with audio? That's the question. We gotta know. So let's go ahead and close this out. And then we need to. Controller. I'm gonna have to deal with messing around with the plug. So, yeah. That's gonna be a whole thing. Let's see here. I'm a little. Nervous to play it has been a little bit since we played. Okay, audio is on the right ear. It's not good, but you know, that's what it is. Let me try to fix that. Sorry, this is gonna suck. the properties. Deactivate, reactivate. There you go. Alright, so now we have to fix the audio. Alright, ready? It's gonna suck. But it is what it is. I think I fixed it somehow. By just picking up and dropping it. I think that actually fixed it. Sound how you got this. I believe in you. Oh my gosh, I fixed it. I did it. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. <laughs> All I had to do was just pick it up and drop it. It is darker though. It is a little bit darker than before. But I think we can work with this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry. I just I just got excited because that song was like a banger. So just got a little excited there. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is Motel. We don't get end of a small sanctuary again, do we? We don't we don't get that song again, do we? Oh my gosh. Where's the Where's our inventory? What's the button to press our to get into our inventory? We don't have an inventory, do we? Is it select? Yeah, it's select. I guess she's just not wearing it right now. For whatever reason. I'm gonna have to like find my way around here. I think these are closed. Bathroom, I don't need to use it right now. So we just need to leave. Pretty much. Right, let's get out of here. Welcome to Silent Hill, my friends. It's the first time since Silent Hill 2 since we've been here. And Silent Hill 1, I guess, technically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Silent Hill. Oh, man. Okay, so it's L2. I just have to re-remember the controls. So we're here. Damn. Oh, okay. We're back. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It just kind of did it itself. Oh man, this this music. Oh my gosh, this is this is great. I love this song. This is this sounds amazing. I love this. Let me fix the, the wire. Be doing this for a while. You have to fix the wire. now. Stop it. Stop it. My ears.
better. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Uh, Alright. Anyways, music is great. Atmosphere is fantastic. I love this place so far. I love Silent Hill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. I just want... I just want... I just want to live in a town like this, you know? Where it's just dead and creepy. And, like, violence is outside. I should just live in Chicago. If I, if I live... If I live in Chicago, maybe... And, like... We, they just turn the fog rating up? Like, fog density up? I think Chicago would be the one. Silent Hill, but in Chicago. I think that could pop off. Are these like feet? Is there like feet here? What is that? It's like some kind of... I don't know. No backing in. Why? Why do you not want somebody to back into this? Now that's the, that's the real horror right there. No reverse parking. Or sorry, no parallel parking. Oh, wait, wait, is it reverse or parallel? Reverse part, whatever. Jack's in. Isn't this where we stayed? We did. So we just need to keep walking this way. We want to go to... Um... Brookhaven Hospital. And we might have gone the wrong way. There's a chance that we could have gone the wrong way. Oh, and there's a monster coming. We need to equip a weapon of some sort. The Kata'ana. Dog. Three. Oh, fuck. Come at me, bitch. Come here. Come at me. I got a katana. I can kill you. Run. Back up. I'm warning you. Stop. <laughs> Stop, game. Stop. I need to kill it. Or do I? <laughs> oh no, wait. Wait, 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 hold on. Where's the, where's the ear? So happy. <clears throat> Heather is just like Why is why is it getting brighter? Why is it getting why did it get brighter? Oh no. Oh man, the thing's glitching out. Well, now it's brighter. Anyways, how do I run again? Oh yeah, it's a square. It's over here. Stop it. There's nothing over here. Stop it. Stop it. Put it out. Stop it. No. Bad. Go somewhere else. Go away. 
Bro, you need to chill out. Unless you want to run with me. Stop it. Cut it out. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can leave me alone, buddy. Ow. Alright, that's it. You know, I wanted I wanted to just hang out. But now you're making it impossible for me. Wanna go? Okay. You left me alone. <clears throat> I don't know what he was thinking. Attacking me. Remember, never waste your resources like I did during that boss fight because now I don't really have much, which means I need to be careful. Let's go this way. Oh no, it's one of those things. I hate those things. I hate that specific monster that you were, were hearing in the audio. Uh, this map is not correct. Uh, we're apparently inside Texan gas now. Which doesn't seem right. Oh, wait, we are. Aren't we? I'm waiting for the gas thing. Here it is. Can we go inside Texan gas? Kind of curious. What does that say? What? A aired? Mum... Mummixen. What? What does that say? Is this reversed? Maximum... Why is this reversed? Maximum grip. Why did they reverse this? Why did they reverse that? It just says maximum grip, but it's reversed. Okay, whatever. Good job, devs. I'm you're really getting that maximum grip. There it is. Texan Auto Service. Texan Auto Service. But it says on the map that it's a gas station. Texan gas. Not a not an auto repair. Unless they sell gas here as well. I didn't see a thing for it. Look at her dumbass run. Look at how stupid she runs. Can I jump over this? No. Doom. shit. Here it is. Here's the thing. Here's the bit. What the hell is that thing? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. They can fly. I forgot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Monsters are everywhere, bro. Ah. We're going in the hospital. Well, 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 well. Hmm. Yeah. Great. You know, <laughs> I don't like the breathing.
What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like that at all. I did not like that. I did not like that. Oh, I did not like that at all, dude. I did not like that at all. There's a bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. I guess I should just leave it all alone. What does it say? Don't pick up the door. Don't click on the door. I wanted to read the sign, but I guess you can't read it. There's something interesting on the shelf scattered on the floor. Oh, there's nothing interesting. Oh. Um... I'm sad. What's here? What are you looking at? Can you can you click it? You wanna like actually like help me out here? Here we go. <clears throat> ah the hospital. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Hospital in Silent Hill. The hospitals in Silent Hill 1, 2, like, are both, like, my least favorite sections because they're just actually, like, horror fucked up, like, everything wrong is happening here. Places. And I, I hate it. I, I honestly hope that there's a lot more stuff in this game left because, like... I want there to be more, you know? I just, I really love this game. Lock is broken, can't open the door. Damn, so I have to, so I have to go in here and deal with the nurse women monster things. I'm going to save again because I, I did just get the map. And I don't want to have to click it again, so. Just an excuse. Alright, so we're gonna have to run in there, so we're gonna spawn and immediately get attacked. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ow. Fuck me. <gasps> yeah, my character's low in health because my thing's- my thing's starting to fucking have- my controller's having heart palpitations. Oof. Those things are fucked up, yo. I'm not wasting ammo on them, though. I don't care how fucked up it is, I'm not wasting my ammo. You're ready. Anything's possible when you go inside rooms. You gotta be prepared. I think my favorite section so far... Food only, do not store in the refrigerator. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. Well, apparently there was a health drink in there that I could use. Or can use. We gotta stock up on anything that we can get. Of interest on the desk. Wait. Something else interesting over here. Seems to be some kind of note. It's a medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Representing mild audio-visual hallucinations. 
emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Hmm. We'll have to take note of this. This door, which is not working, also doesn't work. Some other doors. Okay. There's stuff written on the whiteboard, but none of it really matters to me. Okay. So we've explored the doctor's lounge. The director's room, the meeting room, the pharmacy do not work, and the document room doesn't, you can't go in there. As well as the experimentation rooms don't work either. I guess we're going to need to go to S, what was it? S101, one of the S numbers we need to go to. I think one of them's S07, so S7, or unless it's C. Is there a C? There is a C. But it's only four of the rooms. Let me... There's only a couple of floors. Let me read it again and just make sure. Just in case. So, S12 and S7. Okay. So, F S12 and S7, which is on the second floor. Or, sorry, the third floor... The second floor does not have anything. We need to get to the third floor so we can get to S7. Um, but we're probably going to end up going through all these rooms anyways, or try to, at least. And S... What was the other one? S12? I, I fucking... Actual. S12, yeah. So, S12 and <clears throat> S7, which... It's right there. S12. And then S7. So, if we need to, it's it, we'll be able to get to him. Let me see, what rooms have we not tried to open yet? We have not tried to open the bathrooms yet. Because, you know, classic bathroom moment. We try to go inside the... Uh-uh. I was really hoping to actually be able to go in there. And the elevators work just fine. Interesting. Open. Says me. I am not done with this floor. We still have... One, two... Maybe three, four, a bunch of rooms. We have so many rooms to try. We have the, those ones, the visiting and storeroom, which I feel like are going to not go anywhere, so we might as well just check those real quick before we check anywhere else. How's my health doing? I'm on red. Okay. Ooh, this one works. Get ready to fight anything. Okay. Good. Always be on your toes. Never, never let anything immediately get to you. All right, time for more reading. Let me get some water here. Hmm. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you. Here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to communicate... Er, to commemorate our meeting, the start 
of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Uh-oh. It's a different heaven. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10-inch pole. 10-foot pole. Well, if I get you a 10-foot pole, would you then touch it? I, I, I wouldn't, but... It's just a flower pot. Nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant it is. <laughs> Apparently, the plant is made of, of metal. Cut the head off. Clean swipe. Okay, this is this is just a fucking weird room. I don't want to go inside the weird room anymore. Hmm. Okay. No. locked, which means that we can unlock it. Hey, we got a room. Get ready to fight. Yep. What? Is almost dead again. Okay. Well, anyways, was it worth it? Who knows? We're in this section. I think we should back up and come back to this. Because that's a lot of stuff to go to. And now it's dark because the thing decided to freak out. Okay. Hold on. I got this. Check this out. I didn't do anything. Okay, well, it might happen again, but if it doesn't, perfect. Alright, let's try, let's try to relax again, lean back, and just try to take it easy again, okay? Alright, what do we have here? We have the experimentation room, which I think I probably can't open unless I use the other side. Or it just doesn't open at all, who knows? Okay. I think I tried that door already, let me see. Yeah, okay. So we have a couple doors over here to try out. That one doesn't work. That one just doesn't work. That one doesn't work. How was that? And we can't even go into these ones, which means there's no reason to go over there. Alright. So we have almost basically gone through every possible room in this area. Visiting room just had like weird like lore. Everything else is whatever. Okay. What? What's 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 going on with this door? Why are we looking at this door? Oh yeah, okay. Never mind. We don't need to go in there. I do however want to go back into the uh office so I can save real quick. If you haven't noticed, uh, oh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, I have, like, this obsession with, um, filling the map out for whatever reason. So, like, I really, like, want to make sure I fill it out so then I, I don't know, it just looks, it's, it, it feels more, um, rewarding when I fill it out and make sure, like, I know for sure when I can't go in certain doors and stuff like that. It's nice. Nice. Can't go into there. Can't go into there. Can't go into there. Can go into C2. Am 
Monster. Oh my god, yep. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and leave for a second. What the hell is in C2? Other than a bunch of monsters. Let's let's not engage in that. Yet. Unless we have no other options. C4. Hey, this is a more sane room that isn't fucked up. Oh, never mind. I take that back. Yeah, this is this is the fucked up Coleman guy again. The organization has me shut up in here. Um, they mean to break my will to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in there with lunatics. How about it if I stick this the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off. You can't, I uh, can't you. With that junk, those nasty winches won't stop using. Huh? If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you, uh, you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift, gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Uh, yeah, this was actually written by a schizo. Like, they actually quite literally got a schizophrenic person to write that. There's a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever uh, it was probably used glue. But why do this in the first place? Because they're fucking schizo. There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Mm. So you need some goo gone, I see. We have to get some goo gone somehow. Alright, time to find the, the elusive goo gone. And remember, we don't even have to go into C2 yet, because... We have the elevator that we can use. Alright, we've tried every room except for that C2 one, which we don't even want to bother with right now. Because it's probably just one of those rooms that have a bunch of enemies in it and there's nothing else in there. So, let's use this. And we will take the elevator to a different floor. We still have the second floor, and we still have the third floor to explore. What's the second floor kind of look like? And the basement, of course. We forgot about the basement. Basement is where, where like, the main stuff happened or that we needed to do, I think, in the first game or in the second game. I think it was in the second game. The boiler room and all that stuff had a significance of some kind. Let's see. So where would we start? Actually, wow, we I don't even think we can get to the No, right there, elevator. No, actually we might not even be able to get to the second floor. We might have to use the stairs to get to the second floor. We probably have to use the stairs to get to the first the third floor. Well, let's see if we can go to the basement first, because it is smaller. Mmm, we're gonna have to use the stairs to get to the basement, probably. Let's try... the second floor. There's gonna be monsters in here. I just don't want to deal with any more monsters. Any more nurse monsters. Apparently it spawns us here, not where I thought it was. I, I somehow didn't see this E. There's the linen room, the men's locker, the women's locker, and the nurse's station. The nurse's station might have monsters in it. So let's go in there. Oh, 
Oh shit. Most of it's blocked off. Oh, I went the wrong way, that's why. Did I? I managed to go the wrong way. see if we can get into the nurses. Can we not? I guess we can't get into the nurses. Let's try the women's room. This is probably like some horror beyond, beyond comprehension. And it's almost normal. Is there anything else interesting in here? Oh fuck, nail polish remover. I'm expecting like one of these lockers to start banging. I'm waiting for it. Is there something else in here? What are you looking at, Heather? No, look at the, what are you looking at? Perfume. Okay. I'm just waiting for, like, the, the fucking massive explosion of, like, some spook to happen. Because they like to do that. They like to do nothing, and then they're just gonna spook you out of nowhere. Well, we have nail polish remover, nail remover. What would I do with the perfume and the nail polish remover stuff? Hold on. Dad's note. So there was perfume and there was nail polish remover. What do you see? What do you see, Heather? A note of some kind? Oh, great, another one. Ugh. No, look at the- read the note part. There you go. You may not have yet real- you may have- You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue. The path to paradise. The door's locked. Uh, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Wait. If the do the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Huh? Doctor, I've, g I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. I- that hurt my brain reading that whole message. I- that's- there was almost- there was genuinely like- no cohesion to what I was reading whatsoever. I don't, I like, I don't know what he's on about. I don't, I don't know if they're referring to me or if it's just another Heather. I'm going to assume that these, this is something related to like a past experience with some guy in like school or some shit who was like stalking her and this is now like what she's conceptualized this as it has to be the reason for it existing in this hospital part. There's a typewritten memo posted here. What is this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not report or repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Yeah, okay. Can't wait to, can't wait to solve that puzzle. 
Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So who do I listen to? The schizo who's telling me it was a f Do I listen to the schizo that said it, it's his name's Dr. Something? Or do I listen to this random note here that says the first is larger than the second? Second is twice the third, so four. And larger than the second, so five. So five, four. Five, four, one, two. Try that. Let's try five, four, one, two. Oh, dang. I thought I was I thought I was smart for a second there. Because it said second is twice the third. Third is smaller than the fourth. Oh sorry, I read that wrong. First the first is larger than the second, yeah. So the second is twice the third. So what is the third? So wait, I said four, five, one, two. And then it's half the first, which is two. So. Smaller than the fourth. So three. So. Four. Wait, sorry, I, I read that wrong. So it's larger, so it's five, five, four. So it's five, four. Smaller than the fourth. One, two, five, four, one, two. Right? Let me try that. Wait, didn't I say that? Five, four, one, two. I already said that, didn't I? But I didn't. I don't know. Hold on, wait, what does it say afterwards? Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Oh, so it's a five digit thing. Okay. So let's try five, four, one, two, seven. No. Oh. I don't know. Five, four, one, two, eight. No. I don't even know, dude. I'm going to be honest with you. What if we did, uh, was it, f let's try five, four, three, two, one. No. I don't even know it, what we're doing with that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know how to actually activate it. No. I have no idea. Maybe we're supposed to solve that puzzle at some point. I have no clue. Gaming. The lock is broken. I can't open the door. Fun. Lock is open. Or the lock is broken. I can't open the door. Uh, well, I guess we've explored this area unless I know how to do this part like unless I, I unless that's the puzzle and I just don't I didn't do the puzzle, right? Uh, so I'm gonna move on to the next floor 
or if I even can. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Dang. So in order for me to continue, I'm gonna have to... Unless I can use the nail polish remover. Let me see if I can use the nail polish remover. On the, uh... The one door. Where are we again? Oh, we need to do a full rotation. Let's do that real quick. Full rotation over here. Go into here. And then... Over here. Let's try using the nail polish remover. Yay! Stairwell key. Cool. Alright. Now we can actually move on. Properly. We're not going into C2. Unless I want to die. I'm not even gonna bother. Nice. Let's see if we can go to the basement. Damn, that was quick. We have the electrical room, the store room, the ele elevator, which won't work, the boiler room, the pump room, and the store room. Again, let's see which ones are the better store room. Oh, something on the floor here. It's also a... a, a Wheelchair. Um. Alright, I guess we will just pick that up. Some machine gun bullets. Wait, what? Um. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? That's, uh, concerning. There's a submachine gun on the ground. What's the submachine gun doing? Ah, uh, yes, of course, blood. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, I hate that sound so much. Oh, I hated that sound. I hated that. This is the fucked up area. I can't squeeze into there. There's no way I can move this shelf either. shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Hmm. 
And I can't squeeze into there. And there's no way I can move the shelf either. Well, then what? Why is this here? We have a cool submachine gun at least. So there's that. How much bullets did we get for the submachine gun? 32. That's pretty good. Take a gander at it. Go ahead and reload this bad boy. Yeah. Gather with an Uzi. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about, brother. We're gonna go into this out here, and we're gonna see just a fucking actual demon. It's a little creepy, too. Yeah, you want to see where this blood trail goes. It must be in that elevator. You want to go in there? You want to see what's in the elevator? Okay. They're inside the elevator, I guess, Heather. Okay, you don't need to give me that creepy angle again, Heather. Fuck this place. I'm out. To me, that was a that was a terrifying area. Despite there being absolutely nothing there, um, I was quite literally on edge the whole time because the atmosphere was just really good. Um. Wow. <clears throat> Uh, fuck these stairs too, dude. I hate it. It says second floor. I can actually go to the second floor from here. Which means... Does that mean we're on the other side of that door? No. And the game decided to go dark. At like the perfect time. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. We need to change that. I'm going to attempt something. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Ow. Alright, please tell me I can get to the second floor from here. Yeah, that's a great sound to hear out of nowhere. The character select screen sound effect. That's great. I love it. Monsters? Okay. Stop. Stop. Don't mess with the PlayStation controller wire because it somehow messes up the other wire. I don't know how, but it does. So, move it. Let's let's not recline in the seat real quick here. We're gonna we're gonna have slightly okay posture. Fuck me. This game's getting to me today. Uh, I I hate the hospital sections. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you want to have any questions. There is something handwritten on the top of the typewritten message. The trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Jesus. Um. Yeah. I forgot to change, uh. 
forgot to change the um, warnings for the significant profanity. Nah, this needs. We need. We need a. Uh, we need fucking. Maybe sexual themes, violent graphic depictions. Yeah. And sexual themes. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have all of them. Uh, fuck me. <clears throat> All right. Uh, don't. I didn't actually mean that. I, I'm. I'm just. What did I just open? I unlocked this door. Okay. Apparently, I can go in there. Um. And I can go into this one. Ooh, great. More of this guy. Flowing freely, your ebony hair. Like the night sky scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest. Uh, like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a forest when you smile. My thoughts disturbed my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. I should never have gone crazy, but it's uh, superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Fuck this. Okay, time to go inside the other schizo room that I unlocked. Oh, great! The fuck? There's nothing in here. Ah, this game is fucking with me at this point. This game is fucking with me. Alright, let's get out of the special treatment room. Um. Yeah. Yay. Oh. Ah. Oh my gosh, why is he here? Why does he keep being in places? Cleaning supplies in this locker. I don't believe that. Okay. Well. Time to read another note from this schizo. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel uh, intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door... Those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask the idiot, that idiot doctor. Garage. Are you talking about the basement? There's not a single person here who, uh, who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean, in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Uh. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Ugh. Bloody 
shelf that I didn't want to inspect before. I'm gonna have to go back down to those shelves. Is that what you're telling me? Oh wow, I can actually use the elevator now, even though it didn't let me come in here before. Makes no sense. Open it up. Get me out of here. Fill is still- Mods, fill is cold with stocking. Wait, what? Mods, fill is stocking with coal. Okay, let's try this door. It's locked. No. Alright, let's try to go to the roof real quick, if we can. Oh, great, he's here. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly you too. Oh. Great. Uh, I'm scared that Col Stanley Coleman is out here. That's- that's Stanley. That's Stanley. Why is Stanley out here? Also, where's the note? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Stanley, what the fuck? Oh fuck. Wait. Oh god. Okay. Alright. We got stuff. I don't know what I picked up. Uh, let me see. Did I pick up anything useful here? No, I think it was just ammo. Which is good. Okay, it was more submachine gun ammo. Okay. I think that's all I picked up, which is good. That's, 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 uh, that's good, that's good. We need the, some machine gun ammo, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. We do. Anyways, uh, let's, let's head back to the basement, and, um, let's see if we can find what we're looking for. I hate that sound. Stop doing that. Fucking character select screen music. Fucking hell. I'm scared. Stop doing that. Okay. Please tell me there's something back here. Do I have something I can use? Like an item of some kind? I don't know. I think that's... Unless there's like a... Garage that I don't know of. That I'm not aware of. In... This place. I don't know. 
so we've explored all of this. There's nothing really here. We've not gone into C2 because it's just a bunch of monsters. Um, there is, however, a note here with a circle. Um, I don't know what I should be looking for, though. We can't get into here yet. There's nothing in this room. There's nothing over here. And then on the second floor, same thing. We have nail... We have perfume. What could I use the perfume for? So I can't enter that room. It doesn't do anything and there's no other locked doors. Uh... There's enemies on the roof, too. Hmm. Well, on the second floor, there's the... There's the code on the wall that I don't understand. Like, I don't know anything about what they're going on about. So I'm going to have to figure out what they mean. First is larger than the second. Second is twice the third. Third is smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. So, I think the part that's going to be difficult is that this code, there's nine numbers here. So, three would have to be one of them for it to be six or nine. But it says here. Two are not in the in the right row. Which means if you check here. Three, six, and nine. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two wouldn't be able to be here. And since the other one is um, double this one. This one mentions it's double. See, so it says here, the second is twice the third, but since there cannot be, um, the other one is half the first, so two of them have to be, so one of them has to be times two the other, and then the fourth number has to be the first half of the first one so it's actually the first number that we need to find but three of them are not three numbers are not in the top row and then two cannot be on the right row um there's four numbers and they cannot be repeated so that's most of them which means one could be well isn't repeated the fifth one cannot be repeated either but it does mention here the four of the numbers are not repeated which doesn't really help me too much on what the logic is so 
So first is larger than the second. So whatever number the second is, it would have to be larger than it. Whatever that means. And the third is smaller than the fourth. So the other one has to be smaller than four. Fourth. The fourth one, which is half of the third one. Which means that it's either going to be more or like like how much larger is it that's the problem is it one larger than the than the other number so what is four would be eight so it could be so one could be less than so it could be seven eight right then the f the last one would have to be half so whatever the other one is which is so seven eight is what we have so far because the first one is wait no the first one would have to be larger than the second so it'd have to be nine so nine eight nine eight and it says two are not in the right row. So what nine what is it nine eight nine eight two four? Could that be it? One? Nine eight two four one? Is that it? Nine Oh yeah, wait. Yeah, eight, two, four, and then like one? No. Doesn't really explain if I'm doing this right because there's no indication. I don't even know if it has to be all the numbers because is it larger or less than? So like, it can't be three. We could try doing, what if we did six, four, one, two. Oh yeah, yes. Let's try six, four, one, two, five. Six, four, one, two, five. I don't know. is larger than the second. Second is twice the third, which is... Oh, I'm reading this wrong. So the fourth one would have to be the fast. So... Oh, that's where I'm reading it wrong is because it says the second is twice the third. And the third is smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is half the third third first so the third is gonna be which one I have to solve first so it's smaller than the fourth one which the fourth one is half of the first and the second one is gonna have to be um Here we go. All right, 
let's let's see if we can figure this out. It's gonna see First attempt of my G, my pilot G207 classic pen. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's that's a nine. Okay. So So the the so the third is smaller than the fourth, which is half of the f uh, which is half the first one. Wait, the fourth? I read this completely wrong. How did I read this wrong? The fourth is half the first. And the first is larger than the second, and the second is twice the third. So the third one has to be smaller. Then the fourth one. And the fourth one is half of the first, and the first is larger than the second. Okay, how can I do this? Figure this out. This is hurting my brain. So, how can we... So there's two. But also, so, the first is larger than the sec, let me see if I can figure this out, second, okay. The second the second twice the third. Whatever the fuck that means. Twice the third. See, when they say twice, do they mean times two? Or do they mean you go two more over over it so you add add two to it so let's say let's say for example it was two then it says it's twice the third so three would be two but second would be so two so th four right so it'd be twice the third so it'd just be two extra right which is times two so this is a stupid argument this is a stupid stupid I don't know what I was thinking there. But then again, three, four, five, this, you know, like if it was three and it's times two, then it would be five for the third one. But the third one is smaller than the fourth, and the smaller is half of the, of the first. So the first one would have to be half, which is larger than the second one. So that means that the first and the fourth would have to be, I don't know. Smaller, I'm writing this down because there's the second part to this that is helpful. The Right now, I'm writing down the rules of the puzzle. What is the rules? And then we need to figure out the solution of the rules, uh, using the rules that we were given to figure out the answer. Okay. And then we need to then go over the other part of the rules, which is four of the 
numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row, okay? Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row and then one so I guess it's five numbers of the numbers is the final key. Okay. So I wrote it down. So now we need to figure it out. Heather, I need you to stop looking at stuff so you can just kind of like exist while you appear. Stop looking at stuff. Stop looking at stuff. There you go. Okay, Heather, you stay right there. We're gonna figure this out. So I wrote down the rules. Okay. So now we need to... I'm gonna write down the thing on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we need to... Using the rules, since I have them written out, it should be maybe a little bit easier for me. I should also... The first, the first is larger than the second. So let's let's underline this. The second is twice the third. Okay. The third is I put smalter, smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Now, remember, the four of the numbers are not uh, are not repeated, so it can't be repeated numbers. The fifth one, I guess, can be a repeat number, but because it doesn't say five, it says four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. No. Three. No. Okay. And then two are not in the right row. So only one can be in the right row. Two can at least be on the top row. And that leaves four, four, five, and seven, which is uncontested in terms of what can be there and what cannot be there according to the rules. And then the last number, the fifth number, is random. We just have to figure which which one that one is, but it's just by just random. One of the numbers is the final key, whatever that means. I mean, it could be seven. The fifth number could be seven because uh, it's fucking Coleman is one of them. What if it's zero? What if it's what if it's uh one two zero seven two zero seven? That's four numbers. 
could try that. One, two, zero. Well, zero, zero isn't even on here, though. So it can't be that. Unless, unless we ignore the zero, so then we have one, two, and seven. So one, two, and seven could be it. Um... So I will write... So square is, is one. Triangle is two. Circle is three. Uh, I don't know, diamond is four, and then heart is five. That's just gonna help me with, instead of like whenever I need to circle it on here, I could just do those as like a guess. Okay, maybe I'm overthinking this, I don't know, but. So the first is larger than the second. So the second is twice the third. Okay. And the third is smaller than the fourth, and the fourth is half of the first. So if we can figure out... So we need to figure out what the first is, which is larger than the second. Which is twice of the third. Which is smaller than the fourth. Um, so I don't really have a starting place for this. There's no way for me to start this because it just loops back onto itself over and over again. So how am I supposed to figure out what the fuck the first one is? Because it says first is larger than the second. But we can't figure out what the second is because the second is twice the third. But the third one is smaller than the fourth one. And the fourth one is half of the first one. So how do we figure out the first of the half, uh, half of the first one, when we when the first one is larger than the second one? So the first one is twice of the third one, and the third one's smaller than the fourth one. Fourth one is half of the first. Then that means the first one. So we have to figure out what the second one is because second one is twice of the smaller one, which is smaller. So, what can that be twice of? There's no two on one of them. We could just try doing... So the second number is... Let's try three as the second number. Even though that... I don't... I'm just... Basically, it's just a random guess. Because I have no way of really knowing. So I have to start for myself. So let's assume... Just as our first attempt, let's assume we're going to go through each and every one as the starting number that's technically the starting one and just go through all the possibilities that we can possibly have at this point. Because if we do one as the first number, which is going to be twice of the third, or sorry, the first one is larger than the second. So the second one can't be first, or number one. Uh, so number one... So number one cannot be the first one in the, in the combination, which means it's going to have to be... So the first one is going to be three, which is larger than the second. And the second one is going to be twice of the third, so that means that it can't be the third one. So three cannot be it at the moment, so let's go ahead and... Uh, go ahead and do this real quick, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So, three can't be it because first has to be larger than the second one, and the second one has to be able to be twice of the third one. So three cannot be it at the moment, or a number that we can use at the moment. Um, so it's twice the third, and the third one is smaller than the fourth, which is half of the first one, which is larger than the second one. So the second one has to be larger, and the second one is half of... 
So f number one has to be the largest number. So let me see. So it's larger than the second one. Because the second one is twice the third, but the third one is smaller than the fourth. The fourth one is half of the first. So what is what can ha be half of? So if we do six. No. Hold on. What's 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 half of? What's half of six? Just by guessing, right? Let's just use this as a basis. So, 50% of 6 is 3, which means that the third number... No, it can't even be that, because... Well, actually, it might be able to, but then again, it has to be half of the first one. So, it's larger than the second, and that one's twice of the third. So the twice so since it's twice of the third and that one's smaller than the fourth and that's half of the first, it can't be three because three isn't larger than the second number. Because the second number is twice of whatever that is smaller than the half of the uh, than half of the first one. So does that mean it can't be 6. So if we did 50% of 9, no, it can't be 9. If we did 8, then we can see if 8 is the first number then, like we did that one time. Because if we do 8, then it's half of the, of the first one, which is larger than the second number. So the first one, or so, so the fourth one, would have to be four. So eight, so it, it would be eight something something four, then we'd have to figure out whatever the fifth one would be. We'd have to just guess at that point. Um, so that means we're still applying to that rule set that we have where there's not more than enough up there. So now we have the fourth one and we have the eighth one. Um, so the first one is eight, the fourth one is four, and the fourth one is, so the third number is smaller than the fourth, which means that um, the third number would have to probably be, so three could be, f uh, could be the next number because the fourth number is four. So it could be, that and now we still need to figure out the second one which is twice of the third one so the third one is three so three four five and six and it says here two are not in the right row so it can't be that which means that it can't be three which is a huge problem because we're not given enough information here where it says it's smaller than the fourth one, and the fourth one is four. So what do they mean by that? Do they mean that it can be two or th one less than? Because if it's if that's the case, what's the what's the second one again? It's twice the third, which could be possible, but it says here two are not in the right row. There cannot be two in the right row, which means that it can't be this one. So three cannot be an answer, which means four might not be the answer, which means that eight might not be the answer. So we could try doing a different one where we go, so one, two, three, oh, three, four, five, six, seven. We could try doing seven as the first number, or sorry, I made that as the second number for some reason. Ah, that's where, it, okay, so I made second eight, which means eight, and then the first one, I haven't done the first one, so it could still be three. Oh wait, sorry, eight, so it would be four, which 
which I made four smaller, wait, did I make fourth, half of the first one. And the first number is larger than the second, and the second one is nine. Well, it can't, that can't be true. Because if, if eight's the second number, and the second number is twice of the third number, and the third number is smaller than the fourth number, and the fourth is half of the first, which I made four, I made four four for the half, and the third is smaller than the fourth. Which can't be ha can't happen because the first has to be larger than the second number. And the second number is twice, which means that it can't be nine. I never figured out which one the first number was the whole time. Okay, so let's let's cut that. It's an idea. So let's say first is larger than the second. So let's say second is twice. So what if we do so it has to be larger than the second and there can't be twice the amount. So we could we could technically do it's larger than the second. And the second so we have to figure out what the second is because it's twice which is smaller and half of the first. So the second one is going to be the largest number, I think, because it is twice the amount. Well, actually, no, sorry, the first one has to be the largest number. What What's, what's seven look like? Seven would, can't work. Six, which it can't be six because there can't be two numbers. So it either have to be because, so it would have to be, so, the first one, so half of the first, and the first one would have to be eight, or s it can't be seven, it could be four, the first one could maybe be four, but it would also have to be, let's try four, so it, let's try four for the first number, and then it's larger than the second, which is twice third, which means, and the third is smaller than the fourth, which is half. So if we do that, oh, sorry, um, hold on, sorry, shoot, I did this wrong. So half is, Redo this, redo this, redo this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we did four, then we do two, right? Four, two, right? So the second is twice of the third. And the third is smaller than the fourth one, and the fourth one is the diamond. So the only thing that's smaller than the diamond, third is three, so it'd have to be one. Four, two, so we have four, we have one, we don't have the second one. So we have half of that one, we have the first number, we have the lower we have the third number we don't have the second number the second number would have to be twice of the third number which is one so one so two three but you can't have three numbers three are not in the top row so that can't be it either Because our the numbers we have are two, three, four, six, and eight. 
we only have one, two, three, four, five numbers that can be doubled with a two. With that cannot be points. I don't know if they're called prime numbers. That might be what they're called. Um, which means, which really limits us because, like it mentions here, if we go to, if we go with what they're saying here, one, two, three, which two numbers are in the top row already, four, which is not, five, and then we have six, which is also in the thing, seven, then eight, which is not there, and then nine. So there's only two numbers that are not in the top row or in the right row. Three is literally right in the middle, which means that three has to be an important number because there can only be, there cannot, there can only be two um, on the top row and there can, there can't be two on the right row. So there's at least one number. There's actually, there could potentially be two numbers on the top row at the very least, which means three and two. But we can't have six. That's the problem with three is because they mentioned here, two are not in the right row. And the double number of three is six. Let's see here. So the fourth is half of the first. So the first is larger than the second, which means that maybe four and two could be the first parts of it. So the first number could be, so the first number is four. The fourth number is two, right? But we don't know, so we don't know what the second number is because the second number is twice of the third one, which is smaller than the fourth one, which is one. But we can't have that because we can't really have twice of one. Can you? One times two? Is that even possible? It would be two. And it says four of the numbers are not repeated. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Which means that the fifth number can technically be repeated, which means that it could actually be two. So if the second number is twice of the third one, which is one, then it's two again. That's even possible. So four, two, one, two, and then we just have to guess on the fifth one, which would have to not be a repeat number. So on the thing here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have, um, so one is the third number, two is the fourth number, I think, four is the first, and two is also the second number, unless that doesn't end up working, which means that, that apply, this applies, wait, three are not in the top row, unless that's fucking with us, where they mean that one has to be something else. See, that this is where the technicalities come in, because four, because four, two, one, two, three of those numbers are in the top row, but it's not three unique numbers. So what do they mean by three are not in the top row? Do they mean that you can still have does it mean that you can still have those three numbers be this repeated? Like, sorry, two of those numbers be repeated and it technically not be three or not in the top row? 
or do they just outright mean that three of the numbers that are here cannot be in the top row? Which, in that case, does that mean that they beat out that logic outright of what if one of them is repeated? In that case, what's the answer at that point? And then fourth is half. So we have to just figure out, is it five, seven, or eight? Five, seven, eight, uh, three, or sorry, six, nine. So five, seven, eight. I mean, I can try it and see if something happens, but I don't think it'll work. Four, two, one, two, then what, like five? Which doesn't work. But also, there, this isn't giving me any indication. Alright, uh, this, this is too much for my brain. I, I've, I've tried, and I did try, but I think this puzzle is a little too <coughs> out there for me at this point. So I'm going to look it up now. We've established the rules and... I don't I tried. I tried so hard. Unless I get like a hint. Yo. Classic. Small riddle and is telling you no that's not it so on normal difficulty so it says here the first is larger so the solution this is an old math type riddle there are four numbers in the code the first is bigger than the second the second is two times bigger than the third and the third is smaller than the fourth the fourth one is half of the first none of the numbers are the same three are not in the top row of the keypad which is one two three and we know that Two are not in the right row of keypad 369, and one of the numbers is the final number. So it is a four four number combination here. Um It's probably easiest to start out with the first and fourth number. Let's go ahead and, and just kind of the first and the fourth one. That's the one that I, I tried to start out with. Um, and it mentions here, fourth is half of the first. There aren't many numbers that can be half of the first. While figuring this out, keep in mind that the only, that only one of the numbers will be in the top row of the keypad. The rest will fall into place. So the answer was eight six three four. See eight. So it was eight and four. So I was right that one time where eight and four was the first was the first and the fourth one. But it was there was never a fifth number. But whenever they mention the final key, I don't even know what they meant by that. And then the other one is three and four. So the third number is smaller than the fourth, which the fourth one is half of the. So the fourth one 
so yeah, it was three. So eight, wait, so eight, six, and three are both on the right. And it says right here, two are not in the right row. But it just says here that two are not in the right row. But three and six are on the right row. See, that's the problem. That's where that's where it fucked it fucked me over. I would have gotten it. Eight I was like eight. I was like eight four and then I was like three and I was just like Well that doesn't it doesn't work. Because six can't be on there. So it's they, they lied to me. They lied to me on the rules. So the answer is eight six three four. I, I I'm sorry, but I followed the rules exactly what it says and three and it literally says two are not on the right row. These two are on the right row. follow its own fucking rules sometimes, I swear. It's like math, it's like, oh, because it's math. If it didn't say that the two cannot be on the right thing, I would have gotten it. I can guarantee you I would have gotten it. But because they had that one rule where it said two are not on the right, it completely fucked me over. Does, let me just make sure it says say that. Two are not in the right row. Two are not in the right row. We are not in the top row. There's two on the... There's only one on the top row. I don't know why there's only one in the top row. But it says there's specifically three are not in the top row. Regardless, whatever. I wouldn't have gotten it because the rules didn't even, they didn't even follow their own rules. Which is super helpful. I love that. Uh, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little frustrated. So, I'm going to, uh... You know what, I'm not wasting my ammo. I'm gonna use this. She has a gun. She has a gun. She, she she had a gun. That was fucked up. Yo. Okay. Well, anyways, let's back up for a second. What do we have here? Okay, so we have examination room. man's corpse laid out in the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. Oh, I don't want to pick up that sheet, buddy. There's a medical record here. Could this be the, uh, for the dead guy? Background unknown. Name unknown. Name age unknown. Not 
admitted, um, not admitted patient found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in this room in for at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to the severe, um, carotid, car carotid artery, um, was grasping own kitchen knife right in hand assume this was cause of neck wound possible suicide yeah um but wound angle uh suspicious sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation have received no proof of um what does that say corroboration corroboration no proof or cor 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 corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for, uh, for further necessary uh, necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up your note that you have on your hand. Start time is my key. <sighs> great, great, great ass of the company. Great, 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 great ass of the company. Great, 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 great ass of the company. Great, 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 great ass of the company. Something written on them, but none of them really seem to be important. Okay, looking at it with eyes, looking into it. Let's see. You ready to hear that all the time? You're gonna have to wait a second. There was a tattooed guy on that rumbled bed. A rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Uh, ah. But don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest since I can't cut it open? To show you my heart, I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what a tender emotion this image brings. Fuck you. How about that? Uh, 11? My time is the key. Is it 11 11? Or is that 10 59? What is this? Oh, 10 54. I was close. So we have an instant camera now. So we have a Polaroid now to take pictures of things, I guess. If we really wanted to. So I have M5 and M6. And then... 
let's see. I'm good. Let's try and see if floor three, that's the wrong door. Let's see if uh, floor... Again, or three. Wait, what? This one is different. Let me see if it's 10.54. Oh, it can't be. Damn, we don't know the code for that one. Well. I don't know what to do. Uh... Floor does have a place to save. Mm. I did it wrong. I need to go to the source room. Almost to the end of this game. We only have three more after we finish this section. We have three more sections left. And one of them is hell. Is a hellish one. Um. Oh. 
You know, I never even thought of... I would have never even thought of doing that. I'm gonna be honest with you. To... To do this part here, you're, you're gonna love this. Um, we need to go... We need to go into the staircase and we need to go to the basement. You're gonna love this. This is this is this is so wacky. This is so funny. I love that this game does this, dude. You're gonna love it. Here's the there it is. Um, you're gonna love this. Check this out. Like, oh my gosh, dude. That's so funny. Classic, classic Silent Hill moment where why why would I guess there was you know what? To be fair. There was a, there was this here, this little s random circle squiggle that she did, so, you know. I, I wouldn't have guessed, but here we are. So we need to, um, take this, and we need to use this here. I wouldn't have guessed to do this, but, you know. I would have eventually got it after running around for a while. Nine seven six one. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Wheelchair. There it is. I was like, oh, I guess there's no camera for the wheelchair anymore, and it was like, psych. Got you. You thought I wasn't going to get my attention, get your attention? Think again. Not this time, at least. We will see my set. What was it? 9-6 something? I remember the code. Uh oh. I don't remember the code. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it, was it nine? Nine, seven, six, one. Okay. Uh. Oh shit. This place is normal compared to the others, which is uh, concerning. Okay. This place doesn't have monsters immediately. That's a little concerning. I don't like that. It's a magazine, some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. What the fuck? Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called... Oh, it's, it's cult stuff. Ew. What the fuck? Called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected uh, charity that takes uh, in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But it's at its heart, it's a ki wait. It's a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma and low of in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, uh, Temp, who lives near Ho uh, Hope House. Um, had this to say. Sometimes it, at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out. Since then, I, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, the reporter was, refu uh, reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? 
During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Fortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that uh, operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's wait the order is in the people from the the cult from fucking thief, the dark age or whatever the fucking the dark project. Oh shit! Oh no no that wasn't that was that wasn't a thief that was a strife. Shit! That was strife. Uh, the one game where there's a group of cultists. Named the Order in this thing called Strife, in this uh, PC game called Strife. And they worship like some other random, I don't know, thing. It's a religion that, um, that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but it's worshippers, uh, fervent, uh, belief that they are among the elite's chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children of the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Uh-oh. You better not have been part of that Hope House, Heather. I was I was really um I was really banking on you just being some alien creature that was like summoned um through I, I don't fucking know dude fuck that, that Silent Hill one's like all weird with its lore I don't I don't know man anyways hold on um I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick restroom break and uh, we will be right back so Heather. Uh, oh shit, I don't have, um, hold on, I gotta, let me pop open, uh, let me pop open, uh, web browser real quick, put on some music, I'm gonna go use the restroom and, I guess throw some trash away while I'm at it. One second, hold on. I gotta, I gotta play it, I, I mean, like, I, I gotta, I gotta play it. I gotta.
I'm back. I am back. Let's... Let's go. Let's fucking go. You know, um... Getting, uh... Intoxicated during that one Lethal Company stream it's pretty much come back to haunt me, almost. Well, with, between me and my friends, they always like to mention some moments from that stream that I don't remember. Because I was genuinely the most fucked up I've ever been. And... <laughs> um... One of the things somebody, like, one of my friends claimed I said was, like, the, like, N-word. Like, the hard R. Apparently, I, I said that, even though I know for a fact that, at least in that moment, I was trying to say there was this meme that we did that involves knitting. And I think because I was so intoxicated, I was slurring my words. So when I tried to say it, I probably sounded like I said the other thing, when in reality that wasn't what I was doing. But to them, and probably like whatever like in, like encoding or whatever was going on with the audio, I think they were just gaslighting me, to be honest. I was doing the bit that they've been doing. Like, probably, it, it wasn't... Uh, on stream, I don't think when they were doing that, unless they did it at a couple points beforehand on stream, I don't remember. But my God, I'm I'm so fucking like I'm sorry if I did, cause that wasn't my intention. Uh, but also again, I was incredibly intoxicated, so I fucking said random shit probably the entire time. I was probably, I wasn't even fucking cohesive, probably. I don't know, man. It was fun. I had a, a good time and all, but I, I, I mean, like, I don't really remember too much from it, to be honest. Anyways, I was thinking about that. Uh, let's move on from that. Is this locked? What do we got here? I made a I made a uh or tried to from my recipe book a stew like a beef stew and I was so the recipe called for some dry red wine so we found the cheapest red wine we can get, uh, a Merlot, and uh, I'm drinking some of it right now. Mm. Just trying to use it up. And uh, it's like $3 wine, which I think is funny. $3 wine we like. It's not bad. Um, I mean, I think it's, I like it. I'm not really that picky when it comes to this stuff. I think one of my favorite things I like about it, this is going to be a strange reason on why I like it in particular. What do you have here? Beef jerky. Oh, cool. Why, I never use it. So, what do we have here? So, that door looked like it, it was locked. It looked like there was a lock on it, if you can look right there. Looks like a lot of these have locks on them. Let me see. Does the one that I use have a lock on it? Maybe it's not a lock, it just looks like it is a lock. We're almost coming up to the one that we need to open up. Okay. And we have Coleman. There he is. Uh, I'm scared. Okay, Coleman. Um, goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it. 
saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this, uh, for this day, for today. The day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my good... Heather, my love. Heather, my... He's dead. Trapped in here. Forgot to turn the light on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're surrounded. Heather, we gotta get out of here. Heather, we gotta go to S12. By the way, the beast stew um, ended up not working out um, because it wasn't prepared properly. Hello? No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. The, the sh plan new camera angle. Her, don't you? I'm sorry. She... She killed my father. Oh, she's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? Why well, you gotta be cryptic? And then, uh, and then he says, uh, I know where you live, and then he hangs up. I know who you are. Hangs up. Alright, so we have to go to the second floor. Which is, we have to get past the monsters. The zombies and monsters. Which, bum bum bum, it looks like the door is locked, maybe. Which means we might have to take the stairs. The elevator. Possible. And he's on the second floor, down the hall. Where though? There's no other doors that were locked. 
Maybe, maybe once we exit, we're gonna be in the alternative portion of the hospital. Ow, fuck. That's my back. That's my back. Ow. Oh, fuck. I'm dying. Wait. Oh, ow. I wonder if they mean like a different building. It could be possible. It could be it could mean a completely different building. But I don't know. We'll see. again. They meant here. Oh, this door. M. Oh, alternative rock radio. Nah, it's the alternative hospital. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Welcome to hell, my friend. Ah, oh, okay. Like, you know what we should do? We should make an air duct, but make, like, Heather really tiny. Okay, we don't want to go that way. Okay, we want, we want to go that way. Where's the monster part? Where's the we get chased by a giant lake monster part? this camera angle. Okay. Just left. It's a dead end. Okay. Well, can't do anything with dead ends. This way. There's also a dead end. Okay. Are we just gonna keep doing this? Dead end after dead end. Another dead end, okay. Are we going to meet this guy, or? Or are you just gonna shut doors on me? I'll try this way. Sweet, we have this camera angle again. For some reason. Okay. Door. Is 
boxes. A little crazy, don't you think? A little, a little kooky, don't you think? Uh, that's a lot of doors to close behind me. at it, but I know it must be. Still have an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? Hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was also uh, who was so um heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. Did she get a little weird? Uh she did get a little weird though. What? So no saving? Oh, here's the hell. Yay, we're in hell now. Welcome to hell. Whatever you call it. Um, Hell Hospital. Elevator. The fuck? Was on top was being brought. How do you comprehend this, Heather? That's what a door looks like, apparently. I don't- I don't even know what I'm looking at, Heather. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't- I don't even understand the concept of- Oh, thank god. sure things are good. Alright. SO3. I'm gonna question the hand that's holding stuff outside. Um. What are we doing on ammo? 62, that's good. We gotta keep as much ammo as we can. Especially, we've barely found any shotgun shells. We gotta be a lot better with shotgun shells, honestly. Save that. 
Um, erm. I have to constantly use this map because it's like I don't I can't really tell what I'm looking at anymore. That's just a bucket of blood. Blood is dripping from totally filled the bucket out below. Like a full out bloodletting. Damn it, it's made of metal. Whoever's bleeding. Is there is there any other reason to mention that? It looks like we might have some something related to that at some point. Apparently, uh door two. No, not this one. This is door three. Okay, it's marked off. Okay. My bad. Oh, this one actually opens. going one Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave this to another time. Um, I can only handle so much of this game, and we explored an entirety, an entire section, and I feel like this whole, um, what do you call it? This whole, uh, part of the game, like that whole, like, alternative hospital shit is going to be like a whole thing. I can already tell. It just seems like it's going to be like a whole thing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> assume and then we have yeah, we'll have like Still have that whole thing, and then we still have a whole other one. Um, we'll have like a whole other thing, um, and then we have one other thing, and then that's it. So we have we're on the third to last section of and unless I bother to play Sound Hell Four. Uh, that's it. That's gonna be it at that point, pretty much. There's no reason to play any of the other Silent Hills. Obviously, we might give Silent Hill 2 a chance. Um, but I can't guarantee that Silent Hill 2 is going to be actually a... I don't know how to describe it, but a, like... 
good game, I think it'll be a fine. I think it'll be fine. I think it will be an an okay, fine game, right? There we go. Um, that might be a little too quiet for you. There you go. Um, but I know there's gonna be problems with it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the IGN walkthrough. Oh, wait. That's gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah. So we have one, technically two, three, and four left. So we're gonna we're gonna do all of this other world fucking hell hospital. Which is gonna suck. There's a lot going on here in hell hospital, it seems. And then we'll do after we finish that, we'll do this part. The final portion here which is gonna be really easy to figure out afterwards we'll, we'll get to it when we get to that and then we have one and two sections question is will I end up doing both of those sections in one session will I be doing those two who knows but we're coming to a close here. We did so much. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We did eleven. We've done eleven chapters, technically. They're chapters, I guess. Man, I knew we were getting close to the end, but. It just kind of sucks. It sucks. I feel like there's so much more where you could explore with Silent Hill and it just feels like there's just nothing. Like Silent Hill gets no no love in Silent Hill 3. It gets like a couple sections and that's all it gets. I mean, I guess you technically, I mean, you did explore you 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 did explore like a lot of yeah I mean you did explore a lot of of Silent Hill and Silent Hill 2 I will mention that like you explored the majority of Silent Hill and Silent Hill 2 and 1 and you got a good bit you got a good idea of what it is and what it looks like and all that stuff I feel like Silent Hill well Silent Hill 1 is kind of a different story in that Silent Hill 1 the area is a lot more of a suburban looking area while in Silent Hill 2 it's an actual like full on like foresty kind of town and then Silent Hill 3 is oh let's go to these other places and then we'll go to like two locations three locations in Silent Hill 3 that's actually in Silent Hill and then the other ten locations or sorry nine locations technically are anywhere else I don't know. I just feel like it's it's a little bit of a disservice to the entire point of the game, which was Silent Hill. The whole point is that this town has a lot of meaning for a lot of people, and it's just not really explored that much here.
down, down. Anyways, yeah, so I have some stuff that I need to go do. Um, I'm sorry to leave you. Put it back on. <laughs> I'm sorry to leave you. Um, so soon. About three hours here. About two hours and 45 minutes or so of gameplay. Um, we got a lot done in two hours anyways. I, I feel, I feel pretty good about it. I think this is a nice little short, short little slice of, of something. We'll be coming back to this again. I'm just, I just like was starting to get fatigued. Uh, like I, I, I was feeling like I, I can't keep going. So I'm just like, I need to have a stopping point. For whatever reason, I felt like, I feel like I need to stop playing. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm just going to stop playing because I, I, I can't force myself to keep playing this right now. <laughs> so, that's just how it is. That's how I feel like right now. Um, okay. So, I hope you have a good morning, a good day, a good afternoon, good evening, and a good night. I'm going to try to get, because I've been kind of getting backlogged on uploads for streams, I need to get back into uploading them. So, over the next couple days, I'm going to try to get these all uploaded and caught up on uploading streams to the VOD channel. And... Um, I will see you on, hopefully I will see you on Thursday night, Thursday night, same time last, uh, today, 7 p.m. Central Time, and, uh, yeah, um, Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and a good night. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.